Carl in the week against I, I told you you shouldn't do I this. Know. You know, you should but then when the he weekend. starts, he starts saying things like, oh, is this loud with the people? I go, no, save it, save it. And we just sit there and I'm scared to talk in case he comes up. But, um, you did tell me a couple of little things, didn't you? True stories that, you know, that, that I mean, I enjoy. Right. Could you tell, um, Steve one about the doctor? Right. Oh, God. Um. What's, what, where, is this something that happened to a friend of yours or is this, uh. No, no, I read about it. You read about it? Okay. Um, there's this little lad, <laughs> right? Okay. First of all, it's it's years ago, right? When right, they didn't have times. they didn't have decent doctors in like every town and that. Yeah. And uh, this little kid is dead ill, right? Yeah. And the local doctor. <laughs> well, there's a phone call involved, so I don't yeah, really well, give the impression it. that it's like medieval, medieval times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, but I didn't say that. I just said it's years ago. Go on so on. this kid's ill, right? Yeah. And he's uh, he's lying in the bed and. Uh, He's, mm. he's all like, all going funny colour and that. Yeah. And, uh, and his mum says, I'm gonna get the local doctor around. The local doctor comes round. And, uh, he says, oh, I said, I don't know, don't know what's up with him. He said, um, he said, leave it with me. Leave it with me? He said, uh, I'll have, uh, yeah, he said, I'll, um, I'll, I'll phone up, uh, a top doctor. Okay. Who was in America or somewhere like that. Yeah. And, uh, so he goes to the phone in his office and he calls America and because it's years ago the phone line isn't that good, it's all crackly and that, right? Mm, yeah. So he's talking to the doctor and he's saying, I've got this kid, he's a funny colour and, uh, you know, he, he's really weak and that. I don't yeah. know he's not him. giving him much to go on. <laughs> right? Sure. So, uh, so the American doctor, right? Yeah. He goes, yeah, what you want to do? And it's all breaking up, right? Yeah. He goes, what you got to do? You got to, uh... It's all breaking up. You've got to give him some, uh, parrot's blood, right? Some parrot's blood? Well, that's what he thought he said, but the line was really bad. Yeah. He meant parent's blood, but he, he heard that he said parrot's blood. He oh said, right, I'll, 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 I'll do that, leave I, it with I me. I can see where this is going. He goes, goes to, uh, you know, a pet shop. Yeah. <laughs> he says, give us like half a dozen parrots. Sure. Takes them round to the kid's house. Takes the blood from the parrots, puts it into the kid, kid's fine. The kid's fine? <laughs> I've it, never... It worked. <laughs> such a load of shite <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I've never heard <laughs> such twaddle, such uh, just made up, enhanced, exaggerated <laughs> bollocks what in my life. a load of old rubbish, I Carl. mean, when he told me this, he said, the doctor said, what do I do? And the doctor on the other end said, give him some blood. And the doctor went, where do I get blood from? <laughs> So hang on, wait, you, I just need to, I give, just need where to clarify. Where do I get from? From his, give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents' blood. Give him some parents, some, some parents' blood. Yeah. I, um, uh, <laughs> but hang on, I just need to know where you Sorry, read this. Sorry, Carl. Where was this, where did I you read I stitched this? you up. You know when he said, he said, so do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. He went, do you believe it? I went, tell it to Steve. Carl. But where did you read it? it? That, that was on the internet. What, where about is illnesses. it on the internet? Where, I'm what, always what looking at stuff. I was looking at stuff this morning because of, um, because <laughs> of Yora Geller last night. <laughs> eating, uh, eating all that funny food and that. And also, uh, they all got a bit scared last night, didn't they, with a, with a snake. Hmm. I didn't see that. Is this, um, I'm it's, a celebrity getting me out of yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. He got all worried about a snake getting on the, uh, sort of wandering about in between the sleeping bags and stuff. Yeah. And, um... They were all scared, and it is so leave easy. Leave it with me. Sorry, the doctor says, leave it with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, leave it with me. Well, they were all scared because there's a snake, and it's so easy to find stuff out. Before they, before they, where are they? Where is this jungle? <laughs> Australia, right. I think. Before they went, give it half an hour on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I found out with snakes, you don't need to worry, okay. right? Um, they're deaf, they haven't got any ears. Right. So as long as you, you're really quiet, Creep it'll, around, it'll yeah. probably leave you alone. Yep. And also, they don't have eyelids. Uh huh. Um, so they were suggesting if one's coming towards you, just, like, kick sand in its eyes. Because yeah. it can't blink and it leaves it a bit, like, annoyed yeah. and it wanders off. But they didn't do any research before they went. Yeah. And that's... that's you're, you're, I think your knowledge would hold you in good stead. I don't think you need to know any more than you know. Um, well, we're going to come back to that because he also explained to me where um, uh, a saying comes from that I want to, you to be part of. But, um, oh, and also, you should mention as well, Carl, you've come up with a, a competition, is this right? Brilliant competition. You, have you, have he, you thinks this, this up? he thinks oh. this can go to television. Is this an idea you've come up with? Yeah. Carl, I'm so looking forward to so, it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, continuing uh, our exposure of myths, 
and, and Legends of Rockfall Tale, we exposed that myth that some maybe older rockers have, have had it and they've got no- they, they were never any good and the yeah. kids today- Oh, I don't want to hear that. People like Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart's a great artist. This, uh, He's a slightly laughable man, but a great artist. Let's go back to when it was- when it was rocking. When he cut the mustard? Yeah. <laughs> Rod Stewart, you wear it well. Great tune. On XFM 104.9. Yeah. This doctor, I mean, we <laughs> should find out who he is, really, and if he's still practising, because it, it worries me a little bit that, he, you know, mm. he did that. Also, I mean, he thinks he's got away with it, but how could he be sure those parrots wouldn't talk? True. True. Do you know yeah, what I mean? There yeah, were six yeah. of them, they probably got together and they pro they probably put it on the internet. I mean, it, I, I feel that that story, Carl, <laughs> it, it asks more questions than it answers. <laughs> yeah, really. Like most of your stories. Yeah, that's the problem. I always feel them. I always feel like I need a little bit more information. Like, yeah. did the parrot boy continue to live? <laughs> yeah, you know, to a ripe old age, or did he yeah. die weeks later <laughs> after this charlatan doctor who was yeah. going around, you know, spurious? Did he his break his nose trying to crack a big nut? Mm. No, I, th I think he's. Uh, he was all right. He, he lived to a. See, I'd have shouted if I was that doctor. I'd have shouted. That down the phone. Are you sure you said parrot's blood? Yeah. You parrots, sure it was parrot's no, blood? Listen, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not the best doctor in the world, but d d did you say parrot's blood? <laughs> yeah, but what you're forgetting is you're going back to the time where, like, they used leeches to do, like, No, 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 we're going back to the late 70s if there's a phone <laughs> call to America direct. <laughs> Come on, Carl, they weren't calling America, like, in the medieval times or, or in the Victorian age. Come mm. on, think about it, Carl. Yeah. You know, it's, this has got to be like the, the like, you know, 30s or 40s, <laughs> the earliest. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> I'm intrigued to know where this is. I think there's someone on the on the web who's just putting information on there to lead you astray. Yeah. Because you're the only person who finds this stuff. Other people are using this to write what were you, thesis. What were you looking up that then? What were you, what were you looking always, I always look up weird stuff. What were you, you know? looking for? But what do you type in the search engine to find what parrot you, what, blood stories? What were you looking for? Why, there was what? this woman with a weird head. <laughs> Why were you looking for that? What were you doing? Just because I'd heard about it. I'd heard, like, someone talking about it on another station. Right. right. About this woman with a with a funny head. Right. <laughs> I love the fact- I love the fact you're intrigued with these things. You go in the basement of Waterstones or Dillon's or somewhere and there's these- there's these medical books that you're loving, mate. Yeah, but this is free on the internet, isn't it? It's all there. Yeah. So what do you typed in? Weird head woman or? <laughs> <laughs> Lady with head. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird. Weird people or something I put in. Sure. Yeah. Did you, did you come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven thousand uh, hits, Carl <laughs> talking to. Well, it's all there, isn't it? It's interesting. The one that I was telling you before about um, the what's the name? The the lost letter. The lost letter. What's the lost this? Uh, lost postcard that's uh, just turned up. Some yeah. woman uh, sent a postcard years and years ago to to a niece or something, right? Yeah. And, and her niece was like three years old sure. back then. And just now, like, I think like yesterday or the day before, it turned up, the postcard turned up 74 years late. 74 years late? It took 74 years. And that three-year-old girl's been living in the same house that whole time? <laughs> well, that, yeah. Sure. <laughs> There's no way about You see about what that. I mean? But there's always a question you can ask <laughs> to just scratch the credibility of these stories. Yeah. There's always- it's like the apocryphal tale. Was this the is slugs? It, was this those slugs from last week? Yeah, were they were holding back? Because they're slow, because the postman slug is useless. His round takes him 74 years. Then he's got to go back to the beginning he's got 74 years and they can't carry the bag. But that's where they go- that's why they turn to glue. That's why they turn to glue. Oh. It's pitiful. It is pitiful. So, so you don't believe that someone sent a postcard years ago <gasps> and somehow it's been stuck in the bottom of a post bag or something and it's only just- Stuck in the bottom of a post bag? Yeah. That means that there's like an, a 95 year old postman who's still yeah. wandering around. Did, did, did you did you have to pay like the, the difference and the charges? Because uh, presumably the, it, it was- It a, wouldn't have had Queen Elizabeth's uh, It was, it was a wrong, penny black, it? presumably, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what would be on the stamp? It would have been invalid, surely. <laughs> Don't know. See, these are the questions no, you should no, no, ask no, no, yourself. Because no. if it's the postman's fault, the post the postman office can't turn out. He was only three dead. at the time himself, wasn't he? He was dead. No, he is dead. Yeah, he'll yeah. be well and truly dead now. Yeah. But the fact is that the post office made an error, yeah. right? They lost this letter. Sure. Mm. It's only just turned up. They can't turn around and say, sorry about this. I hope it isn't urgent. Um, <laughs> it, 
<laughs> it's turned up 74 years late, and by uh, the way, you owe us 25 pence. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't do that, would no, they? No, that's so, true, that's true. So, that's true. You you're asking it. questions, though, you see? That's, that's true, you see? So, t um, you, you're interested in, like, where science come from as well, aren't you? Because yeah. you, you told me one of the week, what that, I don't know if Steve's aware of that. Do you want to tell Steve this one? What's this a saying? Can we do this quiz? D Let's do, do this We'll first. do the quiz later. I know you're excited about the quiz. Let's do that later. But what's this saying? Right. Uh, what is the saying? Chucking a baby out with the bathwater? Yeah. Have you, know you that? Heard that? Have you heard that phrase? Uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Well, yeah. 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 Right. Wh wh how would you use that? Well, um, how would I use that? Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I suppose if you've, maybe you've been discussing something, you've come up with some plans, but you're slightly worried and, um, you know, you might abandon the whole plan, whereas there might be some ideas in there which are still worth retaining. Exactly. So you don't want to throw the baby out with, with the, the bathwater. bathwater. There might right. be something that you can just change yeah. and you don't want to, yeah. yeah. A sim you know, there might be a few ideas you can salvage from an, an otherwise worthless one. Well, the saying, right, comes from, like, years ago again. Mm -hmm. And, um... Pre or post phone. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Ages and ages ago when, like, you know, the bloke worked in the house, you know, he was, like, the coal man, and then you had, like... <laughs> no way, it's important. Then, then like, the mum is, like, uh, you know, she stays at home making the dinner, looking after the kids. Yep. yep. And, uh, and you've got, like, the little kid who's just growing up, just messing about and stuff. So, what happens is, back then they didn't have, like, fresh flowing warm water every day. Mm. So all they could do, they could only afford to have, like, um... One one full big bath of fresh water, so they'd fill up the bath, right? And then the dad would come home and he'd say, "Oh, I've had a right, you know, I've had a tough day at work and that down the pit." And uh, his wife would say, "It's all right, I'm putting the dinner on. You're gonna have a nice warm bath." So because yeah. he because he gets the bath first because he, he gets the bath first because he's the grafter and he's right? covered in coal. He's covered yeah. in coal, so the water's like minging by the time he's finished. Yeah. Right. And then the wife says, "Oh, after all my uh, cleaning the house and doing the cooking, I'm a bit sweaty now." She's covered in dust and yeah. grime. She has I'll, the next I'll, one. I'll have a bath, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the line, there's a little baby. Yeah, yeah. It's been playing out all day. Also got like little uh, little grubby knees and stuff. Needs to have a bath. Yeah. It goes in the bath, right? But because the water's so dirty, sure. They go and empty the water out of the window. Can't <laughs> see the baby in it. <laughs> Chucking the baby out with the bath water. That's how. It, that's where it comes from. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Steve. Because <laughs> I've heard this. I just, I'm just, I'm just. What do you think, Steve? Steve. So, <laughs> so firstly, that 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 sort of, I mean, oh, that doesn't explain. Where do you why, start? Well, You're that, struggling, aren't you? You're struggling where to start. Well, firstly, I can't see how we've now applied this to. I've you know, been the thinking of this. I've been thinking of this for days, Steve. Waiting for you to I hear mean, this one. These coal mining parents yeah. did be negligent. Yeah, I, I love they've the left their baby because, in the bath because unattended. It, that's the way round to do it. The one covered in coal. Yeah, has you go bath. first. Sure. You go first. Don't wash the baby and then get in that. Yeah. You, you, one covered in coal goes first, yeah. that's the best idea. Yeah. Second most dirty one goes second, yeah. and then the clean little baby, yeah. I think I think we should do him last, because yeah. he's, he's done nothing well, towards no, this family. But, but more than that, Rick, leave him to his own devices. Yeah. Jack, I'm just going to throw the water out yeah. in the bath. Don't check have you, first. Have you checked that the baby's done that? No, I'm not Don't even going to waste my time You'd checking. See it. You'd see it. I'd be able to see You'd a baby. You'd see a baby in if there. If a baby was in here, yeah. I'd be able to see it. I'm yeah. just going to throw it out. Yeah, I'm not even going to look, to be honest, Jack. We've all had our bath. If the baby's in there, yeah. then it should be, be making careful, sound Jack. We have lost three children this way. <laughs> Don't worry. Where did you read that? <laughs> With the acid. Right, tell the other story that you totally, you totally believe this as a true story, don't you? The fellow with the, the, um, being killed. Right, do you know how the other week we were talking about some fella who had <laughs> his head cut off and he said, uh, when my head goes into, into the basket, I'm gonna blink a lot. See how many times I can blink. But if you remember, when Carl first told me that, it was, uh, um, I think it was Simon or, um, uh, Nick that had to point it out. He goes, no, that's not quite right, Carl. Carl told me it, that he had his head cut off, and when his head was in the basket, it looked up and said, count how many times I blink. <laughs> yeah, sure. But he believed that as well. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, he was yeah, happy, yeah. he was happy with that. Sure. Do you know Sorry, what I mean? Sorry, so, so, yeah, you got that, a couple of weeks ago, there was a guy, he had his head cut off, and before he had it off, he'd said, I'm gonna blink to show yeah. that there's life after death, and, and he, he did, done he it. did 32 blinks, yeah, right? Sure. So, you two were sort of pointing that down the other yeah, week. we were skeptical So, that. I looked again on the internet? At some other website. Mm. Yeah. And there's a guy... Sorry, is the website, just to clarify, the website is the place where you bought that property on the moon, didn't you? Because it was a bargain. <laughs> right. So, um, <laughs> this guy... Been gazumped. Look, we'll see who's been gazumped when, when this world ends. Yeah. I've got somewhere to go, yeah. right? And I know you'll be calling me up 
saying, oh, can I come with you? I haven't got, like, two square foot. No, I've got eight. You're gonna have to stand deadly still on the moon in your two square foot. I've got about There's no place for Suzanne, it'll just be you. Twelve off, love. It's all- it's all those people with big heads and web feet that have been buying it all these years. Well, listen, right. Go on. Anyway. Play a record, tell us a story after it. We've been chatting for Sorry, Carl. No, there's no record. Play a tune, we'll come back with this. What's this, another ghost story? No, uh, oh, let's play my, one of my favourite songs of all time. Because I'm going on holiday and getting into a lovely, serene move. Serene Sorrento is probably from that. Uh, it's Neil Young after the Gold Rush. Beautiful. Still to come, that competition as well. Look forward to that. Carl's quiz. Yeah. What an amazing track Beautiful that is. Yeah. Neil Young Dynamite. after the Gold Rush. So go on, Carl. Sorry. Go on, Carl. So just take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's what's the story? Right. So I did some research. Right. <laughs> Let, let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off. He was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off. To so show the brain can still. Or the brain yeah. can continue to work after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So y you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outen at that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, was I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that was terrible. We're yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this? No, the nineteen seventies? <laughs> when you said a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of? Was it the olden days when ages the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah, ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So. <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that yeah. when you were near school. Yeah, this was enough. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon on. Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. and even before that, which is yonks, <laughs> yeah. before when it was all mental and different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough and he's, but no, he's resigned to it. It's, it's a day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not going to have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without me head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Hoover. So. The jailers? <laughs> whoever he was the asking. These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that pants. So, so he said, no, look, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be, I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out. You know, okay. he said, do yeah. us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut me head off. Let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if, you know, cause there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count. Do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count That's that. not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure. Yeah. Who and said this? He did or they did? I think they started to join in with him and say, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You guess <laughs> it. Go on. So, uh, <laughs> so they got Norris McWhorter down. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, Let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all he needs. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, all right, then, yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. So see you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! <laughs> night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is in yeah. or when but he, he was. knows exactly what was said. said what, but he knows <laughs> the interview. <laughs> all right, then, see you in the morning. <laughs> mm, bye, little oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs. What? Yeah! Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm alright. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got <laughs> got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. <laughs> got used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, you ready then? And he said, I go on. And they cut his head off. And the body walked 32 steps without <laughs> a head. Wow. 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the it walked along the white line, did it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit, and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was do. a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When, when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what, what do you reckon you can do, then, without an head? <laughs> how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would, yeah. You could not distinctly take 32 steps, mm -hmm. the body c well, don't- 
Yeah. Ah, yeah. is the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you could have got 32 steps. Right, so a you don't believe that. I'm doing a bit of line dancing. Right, you don't believe that, but something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect <laughs> to, uh, human <laughs> is, is, the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that well, difference. There's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well, I'm just saying. So? You're making out as if, like, they're a totally different, like, Species. <laughs> I am. I am making that I mean, call Rick, me old-fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about there? I don't <laughs> want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. Yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is, yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the, the cockroach is, is very- you've got another hour to put, have you got well, anything we, at we, all? We, we, I've got that feature educating Ricky, which is a bit of a play on words as well. Right. Do you know the, do you know the film, Steve? Educating Rita. Yeah. I'll well see done. what you've done. I'll see what you've done. <laughs> Go on. I'm doing that and I teach Ricky stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay. what, 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 what do you teach me, Carl? Well, I've got a few different topics. Um, Go on. Do you know like how you taught me about Hitler and Che Guevara and Winston Churchill? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in with topics every week and this week I've got, uh, hang Ghosts? No. Hanging Bacon is one of the topics. Say that again? Hanging Bacon. Hanging bacon. All, all the titles. Francis Bacon. <laughs> no, all the titles are sort of named to sort of make, sort of tease you and get you more interested in it. Hanging bacon. Well, you've right. certainly intrigued. Go on. What's the another title one? Uh, hairy Chinese kid. Could <laughs> 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 I'm going no. for that one? I, if, there I mean, a, if there was a university degree yeah, with that yeah, title, yeah. No, I'm going to go for hairy Chinese kid. And I think. the final one. Yeah. A alien gives man a beard. <laughs> Right, Alien gives burst. man a beer. I am gonna burst. Right, listen, Carl, you've gotta tell me. Right, to first, right, let's do it in reverse order. No, we're not, we're not gonna do it now, anyway. What do you mean? You, we've got to do it now. But, I mean, that's, this is the first interesting thing you've said in an hour, okay? The listeners have just, uh, been subjected to rubbish and, uh, oh, and mistakes and everything for the last <laughs> six months. Please, we've gotta do Alien gives man a beard. What is that? Tell us that. Right. Um... Sorry, this is just you telling me something, is it? <laughs> well, this feature is you telling me something. I'm teaching you something. Educating Ricky. Right. So, are we playing it now? We're already into this feature, <laughs> well into this feature, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should there not be a jingle or something? Yeah, can we have a well, jingle? there's no point, cos look, I come up with ideas and you dismiss them straight away, so I'm not wasting my time making stuff. Right. If you don't like it. Well, okay, it. let's play, let's play Educating Ricky. Right. Brilliant. Go right. Wah 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 Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Educating Ricky. Right. What are we going for then? Hanging the bacon. Airy Chinese kid. Alien gives man a beard. I think Alien gives man a beard. I'd like to do that. Right. There's this fellow. I think it happened in America. Uh, and he saw a bright light in the sky. <laughs> and uh, God, if you're bored. And he stood there. This is a true story, is it? Yeah. He stood there. <laughs> yeah, it's cos it isn't, Steve. <laughs> and he saw this bright light and it came closer and closer and it was a UFO, right? <laughs> yep. And he looked at it and it disappeared, right? And he gets back in his car. <laughs> he looks in the mirror. And he looks in the mirror. Yep. He's only got a beard. He has <laughs> You sure it wasn't it. someone else who got in the car? And he was still standing out there? No, right. What? And it turned out, yeah. he got home and said to his wife or, or his girlfriend, uh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I just got out of the car to look at a bright light, and I, I, I got back in the car, I grew a beard, and she said, never mind your beard, where have you been for three days? <laughs> and what had happened is... He the, passed out because he was pissed. No. <laughs> the, the UFO had taken uh, him for three days, yeah. but he'd only thought that he'd, he'd only looked at it and it went away. Yeah. But what had yeah, happened is, yeah, he yeah. took him, and yeah. he grew a beard because he hasn't had a shave. Um, so, right, okay. I mean, was Will Smith or Tommy Lee Jones anything to do with this at all? Did you, were you, did you see this on a video, maybe, and thought it was an educational film? No, it's from a book that some kind person sent in to me. Here. Yeah. Um, Can I just ask again, just, just again, I'm just throwing this right back at you. Um, do you think there's any other possible answer here? Right? A man is absent <laughs> for three days from home. He's the, grown the a beard. The length of time that it could take to grow a beard, lest we forget. Um, what if he hadn't actually <coughs> seen a bright light in the sky? What, what if, if he, he was lying? Drunk, what if he was lying? He'd got knocked unconscious, mm. he'd had a car crash. Just lying. No, things. just lying. Or he it, was just lying. Yeah, he'd, he'd been on a bender, getting pissed for three yeah, days and with his mates. that was his excuse to his wife. And they went, what are you gonna, what, Dennis, what are you gonna tell your wife? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. She's not gonna believe I was out with you, lads. Just say you're only away for a minute. No, she didn't know I wasn't away from it because of the beard. <laughs> oh, yeah, look, it looks like you've been out for three days. Well, we have. That's <laughs> exactly. right. Okay, we've got to cover that then. <laughs> uh, alien abduction. Great one. Okay, let's try that. Do you see? That's a little scenario there that could have been played. So, out. when you say educating Ricky, what have I learned from this? Never listen to you again. That's all I've learned so far. Never listen well, to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more in here, right? To well, no, uh, what do you mean, add a little bit more? We'll add a bit more to this, to this, what I'm educating you about. Go on. Right. Um, there's only a law in America that says <laughs> if you touch a UFO, you're gonna get done. Now, why would they make a rule? I don't know that- do you know how, like, all their rules have a code? Uh, Carl, I, I, I genuinely do not know what you're talking about. Right, do you know, like, how here- do, do you know what- I have no idea. Right. Okay. Do you know, like, over <laughs> Rick, here? I'm listening to Capital on these headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got- I got Foxy on from yesterday. Uh, right, let's- let's bin that. <laughs> no way, it's great. No, I, I want to hear about Airy Chinese Kid. <laughs> let's play a tune. Okay, play a tune. Come back with Airy Chinese, Chinese Kid. Definitely. Some, some doors. Yeah, I yeah. just thought uh, I'd go oh. back. Uh, take it back to the sixties. Uh, this is a tune that a friend of mine sent. If me. you touch a UFO, you get done. Soul Kitchen from the Doors. Shambles today. This. 